Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel once again. In this video, we'll look at how to install Node.js in your Windows operating system. So first you need to obviously install the visual code. If you don't know, you can get the video link in the description down below or that is mentioned in the card. And you need to download this latest Node.js. This is the latest stable version. You can see it's about to be done now and it's done. Okay, so we need this node in order to, you know, make the code work uh, if you want to really uh, running it standalone. So yeah, so agree to all the terms and conditions. Hit next, next, next. And that's it. Let all the settings by default. Don't make any changes. Otherwise, it might, you know, ruin the uh, running of your code. So code or node. So whatever the uh, thing is in technical terms i'm not that much familiar okay so the installation is about to be done and uh, it's done okay so now we are going to open a very basic simple code inside the visual studio code and we are going to run it by default it's going to work fine without any issues otherwise if you're using some sort of you know older systems like 7 8.18 or 10 you might need to define the path inside the system environments okay so uh we are opening the terminal and by default as you know we need to type node and the file name to run this uh, code or any code okay so it's uh working by default but what if the node not working with the code okay so what if the node is not working with the code you need to define the path and how to do that you have to define it inside the windows uh, given feature which is the system environment variables okay how to access just hit start or just you can search manually okay so there we have to uh, search for a uh, system environment variables let's search here we have this and we are going to edit you can create edit delete whatever the manipulations you would like you can get it okay so here type edit environments and uh, we are just going to define an additional path so uh, by default all the uh, you know path will be merged during the installation but if it's not you just have to create a new one and what is that that is c drive and program files and the node.js in case just in case if you have you know changed the installation directory you need to mention that path here otherwise the code is not going to work with the node okay so the node uh, path is defined now we are good to go and as you know it's it was working fine earlier it's going to work fine now because it's windows 11 but it you know sometimes happens to come up with some sort of error that would be 10 or some earlier operating system okay thanks for watching i'll see you guys in the next video